Hey guys, it's Harry from speedcoming.org and today I'm going to be showing you the basic thing tricks you need to solve one of these faster and rise in the ranks of competitive speedcubing. Okay, so in this tutorial I'm going to start with the most basic thing tricks and as the tutorial goes on uh, they will get more advanced and I'll teach some more advanced techniques. By the end of this tutorial, you'll have everything you need to get sub-20 and maybe even sub-15. So first thing is you need to know the home grip. Now the home grip is this grip I've got right now. Your two thumbs on front and your ring, middle and index fingers in the back. Your, well actually no, your ring and middle fingers in the back and your index and uh, pinkies off to the side. Like to allow you to do flicks and stuff. So the first thing I'm going to go over is how to do U and U prime. Now, U is uh, very simple. You just flick with your index finger at the back here and you just do a flick. Now U prime is just that but with your left hand to go with your left index finger just flick the other way. Those are probably, th those along with R and L moves, which I'm going to show you now, are the easiest finger tricks. So, R and L moves. R, you just move up. R prime, there is uh, two ways. You can either just move it down like that, and then go back to home grip, or move up to finish in home grip. And then L is the same. L prime. Another important finger trick is being able to do R2 and L2 without, without re-gripping in the middle. Now, you could turn your wrist fully. But that puts it in quite an uncomfortable position and uh, it's kind of awkward. And it also leaves you in this, leaving you to re-grip for home grip. Instead, what you should do is first move your hand all the way down, all the way to the back. It is an uncomfortable position, but with practice it can be done. Place your thumb on the back piece and your thing fingers on the front you're like three fingers on the front and do a full 180 degree wrist turn this not only is quicker than doing this but it also leaves you in home grip to then go straight into a, other moves the same is true for l2 you just go just on the other side you may prefer to go forward and down or backwards and forward and up. Then there are the F, D and B moves. These are a little bit more complicated, but with practice they're still very easy. Firstly, D. D and D prime, very much like U moves, is done with a finger flick. Except now you are using your ring fingers. For D, you use your left ring finger and flick like this. And D prime is just your right ring finger and flicking the other way. F moves are a bit more complicated. And now there are two ways of doing F. So for F, the main way people do it is with their right index finger. They put their finger here and, fl and, and flick down downwards. Now if you see, if you just try and do this, it can move two layers if you've got magnets and so and if you don't it can sometimes do that so if you're doing this one you should put your finger uh, either here between like this these two pieces to make sure it stays in place and then you can do F prime by mirroring it with your left hand A 
Another way of doing F and F prime, which I personally prefer, is to use your thumbs and flick like this. So what you do is you put your thumb kind of at the line here and you just move it up. And so that's F prime and F is with your left thumb. B moves are again quite hard. For B moves, you have to re grip to this position. What you then do is you basically you can push with your ring finger. This is quite a hard finger trick to do. Um, but basically, what you do is you re grip to this position and you take your ring finger, place it here, and push. Now that might take a bit of practice and you probably won't be able to do it at first, but once practiced it can be done well. B prime is easier. You just you you again have to regrip to this position, but then it's simply a flick with your you with your uh right ring finger. You can also uh mirror mirror these if you prefer that. Another helpful finger trick that will help you when you get uh, more advanced is is the M and the M prime moves. This is moving the middle slice, this layer, without by just doing a flick. So for M prime, what you do is you place your ring finger and you place it on the back, the back, uh, the bottom back of the bottom piece. Um, and you push it from there to the f bottom of the front piece. I'll do that again. This is very helpful in algorithms such as the H button. You can also do M by either... There's now two ways of doing M that are used by, by people. One is by placing your ring finger on the bottom of the back piece and pushing upwards like that. Another way, which I personally prefer, is by moving... is by moving my finger here and pulling back with the ring finger. This is quite hard. An example of where this can be used is in the MUU perm. Now, those finger tricks are all you need to get started with speed cubing, and you can easily get sub 30 and maybe even sub 20 with those. Now, you want to try and stay in home grip as much as possible as it as regrips are slow. There are certain problems like this. For example, if you want to do an R and then a U, that you can't you have to regrip to do the U. But there is a solution by doing something called a pinch U. Basically, after doing a U, you you again flick, but instead of just like flicking, you kind of pinch here, and this allows your thumb to stay in home grip when you bring it back down. This makes algorithms such as the uh, the soon much faster, as you can instead of going. Like that, you can go and you don't have to re-grip and you start and finish in the home grip. Another helpful finger trick 
is the push with is the index push where you place your finger on the back piece here so I've with your left or your right so here you place your index finger on the back piece but on the side and you push across this again can be helpful for keeping your fingers in home grip in that lot so again with the example of soon instead of going doing the pinch turn which some people find hard you can do a push turn with your left finger your left ring once you are trying to get faster like sub 20 and like sub 15 you you need to learn double flicks now you may as well learn these early is they will just help your times and they they aren't actually that hard with practice the first and probably most important double flick is the right u2 double flick firstly you have to position your right index finger as if you were going to do a uh, a normal u then what you but what you also do is you move your uh, middle finger off the back so it's in position to do another flick immediately after you do your first flick so you do a right index flick and then move your middle finger to do the exact same flick again when done fast it looks like this much quicker than You can also do this with your left hand by just doing the same thing. Left index finger, left middle finger. Being able to do this in both with both hands is very useful. Although not everyone learns this from the start. An example of where this can be used is again in the soon algorithm. Another important finger trick to learn is the M2 double flick. Like with the U2 double flick, you start as if you were going to do a normal M prime with your fingers in position. What you do, so you put your ring finger as if you were going to do an M prime. But unlike with an M prime, you then take your ring finger or your pinky. Uh, I'll, I'll teach an alternate version with your pinky. But you take your middle finger and you do the flick, and then you do another flick with your ring finger from uh, the back of the bottom piece to the front, the bottom of the front piece. Done fast, it looks like this. There is also another way to do it with your uh, with your pinky and your um, and then your ring. So for, so what you do is you, you put your pinky where you would for a normal M and do a flick with your pinky and then a normal M. M prime. Sorry. I have not I personally don't use this and I have therefore not practiced with it, so I'm not as fast. But it can be got just as fast as this. And some people prefer it as you can go pinky ring and then you because you don't have your ring finger having to grip the back. For this re reason, uh, often people, because if you're doing their uh, ring middle, people often use their opposite hands for to do uh, M's and U moves in the same algorithm. So, for example, in the uh, H perm, I, the way I do it is I double flick with my right hand and then do a U prime with my left. Double flick with my right hand, U2 with my left hand and double flick with my right hand and U prime with my left hand. And then a final double flick with my right hand. Done fast. The final finger trick I will be teaching is D2 double flicks. 
again, like with the other double flicks, you start as if you were going to do a normal D or D prime move, depending whether you're using your left or right. Um, then what you do is you actually again like the M2. There are two ways. One is with ring middle, and another is with pinky ring. I personally use ring middle. So what you would do is you'd go to do a normal D prime and then straight after you do a another flick with your index uh middle sorry like this. And then with the pinky you do a flick with your pinky as if to do a D prime and then another D prime. Those are all the basic finger tricks you need to get faster Rubik's Cube. These can take you to sub 15 probably. Uh, once you get once you get faster, you may want to learn some more complicated ones like Eidos and uh, this sort of U prime and thing. But they're not important until you're getting fast. Thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe.